Hi, it's me, Bamp, and I have a lot of things to cover, but I do not have a lot of assets to show you guys, but I do have this asset, asset as it were, to show you guys. And this is really the only asset I have to show you guys, so I'm going to leave it up on the screen the whole time for you guys to look at. And when we get to it, it will be coming up pretty soon, actually. I'm going to try to go in some order. Okay, so, first of all, before the stream began, began, there was the cover of um, We All Left Together. Um, it was an awesome cover that apparently a fan made. Um, Raya. You should be able to go to YouTube, search We All Live Together Cover Freya or something, and it should appear. It's very, very good. Now, um, also, Steve mentioned that alerts are going to be killed this year, but he already mentioned about you want to revamp alerts in general, how Warframe handles alerts and stuff. I wonder what that means for the Warframe, you know, things in general. I mean, that's how you get your potatoes and, you know, helmets and whatnot. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay, and then we will go with this. This is what the asset is for. Six year anniversary alert. Yes, I said alert. After I said that Steve said he was going to kill alert. But yeah, anyway, apparently it's going to sort of begin next week, but that's only because apparently each week is a faction, and then the rewards you get are the relics, the community complete them as a team. You get um, boosters, you know, every one platform wide boosters. And I will also say that this will be available, as far as I know, on PC, PS4, Xbox One, and the Nintendo Switch. So that's very cool. There's also a deconstructing podcast or de constructing, if you will. Ha ha. Yeah. Yeah. And um, it's the podcast where they are trying to do it like once every other week, I believe. And they're trying to make it so you can, you know, tell them hear what other DE staff says that maybe not on the main, you know, talking about everything. Like, you know, like the four main developers, as, you know, some might say there's also other ones in the background that we don't even get to know much about at all. So that's what that podcast is mostly for. I did put, I did Put on the end of the Void Trader video I did earlier, but, um, you know, that there was going to be an update, but I'm here to tell you that Monday, that update, that update had passed cert, and Monday it will be available for PS4 and Xbox One. It's a small update, it gives us Tenogen round 10, I mean, no, round 14 on PS4 and Xbox One, as well as fixes controller responsiveness and gives us a slider, fixes a few small bugs. It's not a real big update at all, but it apparently needed enough for DE to submit it so quickly to console. A chat sire crate. I don't know exactly what that means. They were joking a lot during the stream, so it's kind of hard to see which parts they were joking, which one they won't. But speaking of cravats, 
there apparently is a thing for the um, design council to council to maybe make two new cravats. You know, ideas for two new cravats, which is very, very nice. Apparently, they also were looking at the auto install. They changed it a bit, you know, the mod auto install that no one uses, everyone tells everyone not to use. They're t actually taking a look at that now, so that is cool. Um, let's see. In, let's, in the main next mainline update, apparently they are going to make it so you can actually, um, ooh, actually this is in real time, looking guy, I get to show you guys something pretty awesome. Okay, so while I load it up, I do have to tell you guys that, um, where was I? Okay, so while I'm loading it up, I have to let you guys know that they are making it so you can extract by yourself inlet missions. You know, just because someone wants to extract, you won't have to leave your survival, which is pretty awesome. The enemies are going to have new hit animations, which is also very, very awesome. And our Atlas has an in-game model already so it will be coming soon not sure how soon but atlas deluxe skin yes you heard me atlas is going to have a deluxe skin which i can actually show you guys now as a sort of bonus asset It doesn't fully fit on the screen. We will make that happen though through the magic of this program I'm using. And there we go. There we go. Look, Atlas. Deluxe skin. It actually looks very cool in my opinion. Um, apparently his golems also have their custom thing too, you know, just much like Octavia Deluxe Skin has her rollerball custom. This Deluxe Skin apparently will have the Golem custom too, so that is actually very cool. Okay, and then enemies are getting new hit animations, like I briefly said. We got to see Wisp in game and wisp has really no feet so it looks like um they're gonna give wisp a custom sprint and maybe custom power animations we don't know yet but on the new topic of wolf room children hydrant i don't know her name for sure but she she apparently interesting okay that gun that we thought was uh you know exalted gun it turns out it's an arc gun her i guess she gets an exclusive arc gun that comes with her i don't know but here are her passives i guess um passive shield gating Yes, yes, she's going to be the test for them for shield gating in the game. They said on stream, actually, that she's going to be the test. So, that is that. Also, zero energy. She has zero energy. Zero, absolutely zero energy. The thing is, she has and said a higher shield pull just like you know anaros has that you know high health pull she has a high shield pull but she also has some health 
unlike a Naruto who doesn't have any shield, she actually does have some health. It's just not very much health at all. Okay, it's actually a decent amount of health. It's just not as big as her shield pool. So all her abilities use shield power. They don't use, you know, energy like a conventional framework. So keep that in mind. Also, apparently she has her own roll type ability. Her four is, okay, let's go in order actually. Her one is a channeled weapon, but it's not that big arc gun. It's like a smaller type channel weapon. So we'll see how powerful that is. And yeah, that's her one. Her two apparently steals shields from enemy and takes away status effects for you and your allies. That's pretty cool. Her three, um, it's basically a corporate shield drone in the sense that it gives you and your allies shield while And I think it can give over shield too, not entirely sure. But her four, her four lets her like hover up in the air on, you know, like think of copter type shoulder pads on each side of her shoulder. Let her like hover up in the air, sort of float, in which case she can still use her other abilities while in the air. That would be kind of interesting to see. I feel like, um, and enough of her abilities, the optical vandal will quote leaked. Um, Rebecca, I think accidentally showed it off. She could have actually legitly showed it off on purpose, but it seemed like you wanted to give like a small teaser but anyway so apparently in the future event the optical vandal will be a thing which the optical is already pretty powerful so yeah okay and the next bit of news is railjack related which is that you will basically either need to be in a dojo or start your own dojo Building dock for Railjack, you'll have to build that in a dojo. So, um, if you want to find a dojo, now's probably a good time to start. Or if you would like to um, make your own dojo, now's probably a good time to start. So, yeah, either way, now's a good time to start, I suppose. And they're going to be earned only cosmetics. Don't worry, they're not going to be super big cosmetics, but they are going to be important cosmetics. Like footprints, there's going to be a stalker one that makes it so smoke comes from your body. Like a edgy edgelord type smoke. Smoke wind. Sorry, Mortal Kombat thing. Okay, anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. So, me, on that note, I think whenever I can, I'm going to buy a bunch of beacons for... I don't care if I already have a lot of beacons, a lot of this, a lot of that. I'm going to buy it anyway. It's going to be awesome, fantastic, and we are going to go with the flow of it. And, yeah. Um, let's see, the Gas um, City Remaster, they aren't just remastering, um, they aren't just like touching up the artwork, they're changing a bunch of stuff too, they're making it more parkour oriented, still don't know how I feel about that, since I'm not really that good at parkour stuff. Um, this month, later on this month, of February, they are dropping support officially for DirectX 9 and 
32-bit warframe. So keep that in mind. That's very important. So that means the minimum spec list just got a little higher technically. Well, we'll get a little higher, you know. So yeah, keep that in mind. Then there are going to be new set mods that they're putting in the new Gat City tile set um, as a sort of incentive to go back. And they're all uh, parkour based. You know, like if you're aim gliding, you'll get more damage for a certain type of element or, you know, doubled um, gravity or something like that. You know, stuff like that. And then finally, what I have here is Melee 3.0. Fast, um, let's see, fast switching. They went into a little bit more detail what that means. So basically, and they're doing this in small, since it's separating Melee 3.0, they said this part on PC could arrive as early as next week. Fast switching, meaning that if you tap the, you know, melee, quick melee button, you automatically go to your full melee weapon now. No needing to, um, <clears throat> no needing to hold down triangle or F or anything like that. Just go straight to, it just takes you straight to the melee, but also, it does the same thing to if you just hold down a fire button to fire your um, weapon. It does it right back instantly to that too. So you can just instantly switch back and forth. I'm actually interested to see what they're going to replace the hold down mechanic thing with if anything at all so we would see how that happens steve also seemed interesting in maybe implementing some dmc devil may cry type juggling mechanic for the enemy which uh, might be kind of interesting a bit show offy but hey it would be fun especially if you're solo so hey and i stream regularly so I can, I have no tra no problem with that at all. The more showy offness, the better. And with that, I think that's about it. Later.